flow limitation, what is really happening. For those who have SDB, the muscles in the upper airway begin to relax during sleep, and the tongue and soft palate move closer to the back of the airway. This usually occurs if you are lying on your back or side due to the force of gravity. As the airway gradually narrows, it limits the rate at which air can pass through. We call this flow limitation. The airflow curve now has a characteristic chair-like shape. The middle of the curve looks flatter than it does for normal breathing. The flow at this point is being limited by the restricted airway. As these breathing effort traces show, our model is working harder to breathe. Despite the flow limitation, the sounds of breathing are still fairly normal. From breath to breath, as flow limitation continues, the oxygen level in the blood remains quite steady and the heart rate remains fairly stable. At some point, the increased work of breathing against flow limitation may lead to an arousal. An arousal is a disturbance in the sleep cycle. This may be accompanied by some movement. There is a visible increase in brainwave activity and heart rate. Each arousal has a powerful effect on your body. On arousal, our model quickly takes a few deep breaths. As muscle tone returns to the tongue and soft palate, the airway opens. The airflow trace returns to the normal bell shape although an amplified one. This flow limitation arousal sequence may occur several times every hour. Although there may not be much change in the sounds of your breathing, your partner may notice you tossing and turning restlessly. You may wake up feeling tired. The effect on your body is strong enough to disturb your sleep and prevent you from getting the real rest you need in order to be healthy. Flow limitation with snoring, what is really happening? In many people with SDB, snoring may occur along with flow limitation. As the muscles in the upper airway relax, the soft tissue begins to vibrate when you breathe. This creates the audible sound of snoring. The tendency to snore increases when you sleep on your back. It is also affected by other factors, such as taking certain medication like sedatives, consuming alcohol, or general tiredness. Notice the turbulence on the airflow curve. Breath by breath, the frequency of the upper airway vibration increases along with the loudness of the snoring. Snoring also increases the effort required to breathe. and it can be rather noisy. Flow limitation with snoring often leads to arousal. Once again, we see why such disturbance during sleep is a matter of concern. It has a significant, visible and measurable impact on your heart rate and brainwave activity. On arousal, our model rapidly takes a few deep breaths. As he does so, the various characteristics begin to normalize again. Whenever an arousal occurs to restore normal breathing, it interrupts your sleep. Because of the noise that accompanies snoring, most partners can readily identify this type of sleep-disordered breathing.